the United States economy is still the most important and largest in the world. It represents about 20% of the total global output. The US is the second leading exporter of goods and services in the world and the number one leading importer. It is the largest exporter of food products worldwide. The US has regularly led a trade deficit mainly caused by the dependence on foreign oil. Due to the levels of demand for water, especially in the arid west, US aquifers are shrinking. The US government has a special agency that works to end extreme global poverty called USAID. Thanks to very innovative drilling techniques, the US actual oil production has nearly doubled in recent years. It is also a net natural gas importer, and the US oil gas boom's success in the private sector affects how the US government uses energy as a tool of foreign policy leverage. There won't be an eager disengagement from the Middle East though. The US has many interests other than oil in the region, including non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, protection of Israel, human rights, and counter-terrorism. By 2016, 10% of total US energy consumption came from renewable energy sources, and we don't use, use it more because it's more expensive to produce, often located in remote areas, which means it's expensive to build power lines to the cities, and there's lack of uh, availability due to clouds, days with no wind, droughts, energetic sector lobby, pressure, like fossil fuel lobby specifically, and as for nuclear energy, the United States is the fourth largest uranium reserves in the world, and uh, even though it does have this reserves, the United States imports most, most of the uranium it uses as fuel today. The US has a demographic dividend because of their positive fertility rate in comparison to his economic competitors. Russia has a low birth rate and a high mortality rate. In East Asia, a third or more of the population will be older than 65. In China, more than 30% is going to be older than 60 years. As a result, these countries will have to put effort and money in their society, while the US has a young generation of working people to benefit from. The US has the largest amount of remittances that goes out of the country. This is due to the fact that the US is the country with the most immigrants. But they're not the country that receives the most remittances, although a lot of Americans go abroad. The United States has been known for their bad policy position to maintain a global diplomatic and security presence with their diasporas. Also, their largest group of immigrants, the Mexican Americans, don't have a positive connection with the United States because of ethnic and racial tensions. The United States has formal diplomatic relations with most nations. This includes all UN member states except for Bhutan, Iran, North Korea and Syria. Additionally, the US has diplomatic relations with the European Union. Being the most powerful country in the world means to have several competitors. Russia and China are the main competitors to the North American hegemonic power. Both states have good relations with US. However, during recent years, the bilateral relations of US with such countries have cooled down. US main allies are Canada, its nearest neighbor, Australia, Philippines, and many European states such as Germany and France. Actually, US share with all these countries different economic, political, and military treaties such as NATO. On the other hand, US has also various enemies which threaten the North American sovereignty. They are Iran, Syria, and North Korea. In fact, they have no formal diplomatic relations with the US due to several issues which made different countries to split any relation between them. The US was at the top in military world expenditure, representing the 2.2% of its GDP last year. It was also the main arms exporter with Middle East and Asia as their regional receivers. Moreover, American private companies are the main arms maker, being this one at the top. But as you can appreciate, China is growing much faster considering volume of major arms export. The 15% of the US active personnel is located overseas, and it has around 800 overseas bases deployed in 177 countries, mostly located in Japan, Germany and South Korea. However, the US is not so much engaged in multilateral peace operations, which are focused mainly in African Middle East. To sum up, the country has already agreed seven collective defense agreements mainly with Asia. The United States is a superpower in soft power terms. English is lingua franca, world's largest media corporations are American. They have Hollywood, CCE and The Simpsons. USA is the main global destination for study and the second for tourism. It is home of seven out of the top ten global brands, being the first Coca-Cola. 
You can eat a Big Mac wherever you are and Apple, Google and Facebook were born in the Silicon Valley. Everyone knows the United States and the American way of life, shaping identities both through adoption and rejection. This has geopolitical implications as public diplomacy is a source of power and the American way of life sells itself as embedded into very particular political values, being freedom and democracy. American foreign aid is a further tool to advance geopolitical interests. Top five recipients are Afghanistan, Israel, Iraq, Egypt and Jordan, and the vast majority of this aid is military. In fact, 35% of total US aid is military aid, and only 30% of the total aid goes to the least developed countries in the world.